do you react to the APC's position tonight? They've made it known that they want Goswe Apabio and they want Barao Jibrin, some of your colleagues. And they've said it's not only about zoning, but they've named names now. Okay, I mean, um, we've um, received that information. Uh, we made a statement yesterday. Uh, we came out from a meeting of uh, caucus and uh, we made a statement. And um, we have also continued consulting. We are, the we are in the opposition party. And I think um, by the consultation, we may be able to find um, a, a position that will be a win-win situation for each and every one of us. But for me, and for our people, people from the Southeast, we are still very strong, you know, contesting for the office of the Senate President of Nigeria, for the 10th Senate. That is our position till now. So maybe um, in the course of consultation, we will continue to update Nigerians of our position. But for today, for now, I'm still in this studio. The position of the um, Southeast Caucus is that we are going to contest for the Senate, 10th Senate President of Against the position of the ruling APC. If that is our position for now. Who are, those, who, who are those running in the southeast? We have um, Oju Zokalo. Mm -hmm. We have Osita Izunaso. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, another gentleman, Senator Patrick. You know, and then um, we are all um, trying to see how we can uh, you know, um, come to um, present one candidate. And for now, we are still consulting. That is the position of um, the South East Caucus. If you have heard some of the arguments and debates from members of the APC who said, look, you have to give it to those zones and part of the country that gave the APC um, their votes in the presidential election, perhaps the reason or the reason behind the zoning of the APC. What do you have to say to that? Well, every vote matters. Without every uh, part of Nigeria contributing to the voting content, we wouldn't have had the number of results we have. So we shouldn't. There's a lot of things in terms of um, trying to zone. You know, after the presidential election, I think equity demands that we we'll sit down and then look at every region because we are talking about Nigeria. Nigeria is not divided on who brings the vote and who doesn't bring the vote. And even those who have been accused or, or or if the way you have presented it, those who didn't bring the vote. Are we not part of Nigeria? But this is politics. No, it is politics. But politics demand also that you need to look at the problems and marginalizations and things people have been saying. Things. And then Why do you think that a Southeasterner should be Senate president? Because the Southeasterner needs it. We need it in order to balance the equation. I thought it was a presidency that the Igbo people wanted. Yeah, we wanted the president, we didn't get the president, and we want to have the senior president. And what guy? Is it just because... You see, we are coming from a zone that has been badly marginalized, and that is what every Nigerian knows today. Part of what you saw that happened during the presidential election is part of um, this uh, agitation that people decided to show, you know? And I think uh, if we call ourselves one nation, one people, then we should at least put the balance very well, you know, equate it so that every region will have a sense of belonging. Because we're talking about the politics amongst uh, 109 senators, 360 hours of representatives. This is just a little number compared to the interest of a larger 200, 200 million people may, who will, will be coming to the interest of the Nigerian people because we're just talking about presiding officers who robot. The average Nigerian will be asking, what does the benefit him or are? But before I get into that, I mean, if you look at the history of the National Assembly in this Fourth Republic, look at the night from 1999. There is no single state in the Southeast that has not produced a Senate president. And if you look at it, they will I, say, I, I, just for a moment, the politics of the National Assembly, again, after having the light of Kenny Namani, Pius Aim, Tuba Kadibo, and the rest who have become Senate president. Uh, all the time that President Obasanjo was president, you had an Ike Kuremadu who for 12 years, during the time of uh, uh, the former Senate President Taraki and uh, the, um, uh, his predecessor, he, he was the Deputy Senate President. So, there are those who argue that Igbo man has had his fair share in the leadership of the National Assembly. How do you react to that? Well, uh, people can say about things they don't understand. But if we go into the dynamics of their stay, the elongations, 
you know that yes, we have not really had. What was was it? Did we have a very free tenor during these uh, uh, times we are talking about? The answer is no. Do you understand me? And we are talking about the present situation in this country, how we are going to balance the equation in this country and bring tranquility to the country. We are looking at the president coming from the southwest and then the Senate deputy president coming from the northeast. And it demands that the Senate president should be given to the southeast or should be zoned to the southeast or fairly zoned to the south. The only problem we are having is consultation. And even if there was a very robust consultation among the people from the south by the ruling party, we can now come, maybe we'll come and then at the end of the day, okay, we, have, we want to give it back to the south-south. But there was no consultation. It's like you, there's nothing you people can do. Is that how you guys see it? That's the way we find it. That's how you have been Yes, treated. there's nothing we can, there's nothing. You are even being marginalized in the National Assembly. That's how you see it. In, in the zoning by the, by the ruling party, that is the way we are seeing it. You know? And not that we don't have human beings. I mean, Oju Zokalo has a competency. Osta Izunaso has competency. And they have all served in, this, in, the, in the ruling party in the very strong positions in the past. As a former governor and then a, a former um, um, uh, organizing secretary of the ruling party. You know, they deserve to be given opportunity to be the senior president of Nigeria. So they have also contributed their own quota towards building of a, um, the ruling party. Well, and no, so I mean, all of us in the, in the opposition party, we are supporting the position of the Southeast. The game is a game of the ruling party because they are in the majority. And the rule of the Senate says that you have to give it to them to be able to determine how it goes. But now that the APC had made its position known that they want Goswe Apabio from the South-South, what is your next line of action? The next line of action is for us to go back to the drawing board and then present it to our people because this happened today. We we'll present it to our people and then we we'll take a position. What kind of yeah. position will be acceptable to the Nothing is cast on senators? Nothing is cast on soon. Um, every, every, every dialogue is very important. Consultation is very important in politics. I mean, um, I mean, if we are going without anything, then we need to ask ourselves, are we part of Nigeria? Mm -hmm. So let us have good consultation from the ruling party. If they think that we don't deserve to be the pre president of the Senate, then they then come and tell us what we... What is for us? As for the four presiding officer roles, one has gone to the southeast. Is that enough to placate the, the southeastern eastern lawmakers? Well, I think about uh, some few minutes, a few hours ago, we have um, the almost uh, almost uh, half of the contestants of the uh, House of Reps, you know, coming together, you know, trying to form an alliance on who will be. I don't think also I don't think um, some of these things will. Um, Will um, you know? Will um, be fair to us, those of us that has contested the election. You know, you know how it is to get into um, uh, to, to be voted in. So one of the things that is very important is you don't just enforce these things to people that are so independent. And we have um, we have our political parties, we have our stakeholders, we have people from our region that have sent us to. National Assembly. You don't just come and then enforce. There should be a consultation. We are all matured politicians in this country. There should be a proper consultation. You know, I think um, um, the ruling party did not get it right in just... Uh, you think it's going to backfire? I don't a know. similar Saraki, Tambuwa scenario know. could play I don't out? Know. Show, you won't get words from me, but... Uh, I don't know. If you are uh, not the, happy, the, the, the if you say Senate, you are not consulted... The politics of the Senate is a different ballgame, honestly speaking. The politics of the Senate is a different ball game. It needs proper consultation, and that is what I think. The only are you uh, the warning the APC of. about this? Well, well, I have said it yesterday. I was in um, another television station. I said it. Um, there should be a proper consultation. Now that um, they have made their position known to Nigerians, thank God we took our position before they made their statement. So we we'll go back to uh, we we'll go back to the drawing board and. So then well, technically, when you're listening to uh, my brother, um, um, His Excellency Dev Omahi, he said that the candidate came to him. He said also that the president-elect invited him as two things. He came to him.
for consultation, and the president invited him. Now, the question is this. Have God Swill Ababio come to the Southeast Caucus? I am aware he went to, he has seen the Southwest Caucus. Can you take it back to him and ask him if he had seen the Southeast Caucus? If he consults with you without okay. doubt, the has situation. we been asked to come to maybe on the invitation of the ruling party or in the invitation of the president elect and then please help me to achieve this? This is what I have also for you people. I mean, we are all, we came to the National Assembly from different platforms and we shouldn't be treated like nobody. That is it. We shouldn't be treated like nobody. And, then, and it's, very, very, it's becoming a, a decimal for people to always, you know, uh, abuse people of Southeast in this manner. That should stop. What that do you do stop. about it? Well, we can't say what we'll do, but we'll see the end of the game, how it will be. I mean, the, the, the most important thing, there's nothing, nobody's having anything against the president-elect. He's a nice gentleman. He's a good man. But in, in, in this, we, we don't know the politics that played that, you know, gave room for this because he shouldn't even be part of this in the first place. Even though, yes, he needs to have a, a good senior that he will work with. But he shouldn't have come in so quick. And for my brother, His Excellency Dave Omahi, that just threw in, I mean, he gave a statement a day, and then after a day, he was, he was uh, consulted, and the people came to him, and the president called him, president Lee called him, and then he gave up. Okay, that's good, in politics. Maybe they gave him the right words for him alone, but not for the people of Southeast. <laughs>